Hey guys, welcome to the 10X Academy. I am your host, JR. In this video, I will discuss different strategies on how to invest in retirement accounts, as well as the perks and benefits for each type of account. In addition, I will discuss strategies on drawing out income from each of these retirement accounts and how, if done properly, you can create a recurring passive flow during your retirement. Stay tuned to the end of the video where I will show you a simple portfolio you can use and start building today for any retirement account to create a passive income producing stream for your retirement. Planning for retirement is crucial for creating investment strategies for sustainable income during your retirement years. There are three main phases that need to be considered when planning for retirement and should be started as early as possible. It's never too early to start. The asset accumulation phase. This is the phase from when you first start to work all the way up until just before your pre-retirement. The pre-retirement phase. This is the period of time when you are preparing for your retirement. And the retirement phase, when you are fully retired. With the average life expectancy growing each and every decade and the average retirement age dropping, it's important to plan for sustainable retirement income for north of 30 years. Another factor to consider is inflation. Simply having a savings plan or investing in fixed income securities or bonds is not a sustainable income anymore. It's important to include investments with income growth potential in your portfolio that will at least keep up with inflation. A well-rounded retirement income plan balances guaranteed income sources with investments that provide growth potential. There are several retirement issues. First, inflation. The rise of inflation each and every year can depreciate your portfolio rapidly. Next, market volatility. Market volatility can be your worst enemy, but is also your best friend. Drawing out funds while the stock market is in a correction or recession can see your portfolio rapidly deteriorate, but the volatility also provides necessary gains in order for your portfolio to grow over time. Another issue is the withdrawal rate. The amount of money you withdraw as a percentage of your total portfolio is critical in making your money last. Too high a withdrawal rate, and you will burn through retirement funds in no time. Too little and it's not enough to live off of. Multiple sources of income are key in creating a diversified income stream that can last throughout retirement. Guaranteed sources of income with growth investments included as well as a flexible plan allow to account for all things that can go wrong that were previously mentioned. When creating a well diversified plan, the end target must be accounted for. How much money will you need yearly? This will include essential expenses such as food, shelter, medical, utilities, and other life expenses, and discretionary expenses such as trips, vacations, etc. Guaranteed sources of income can be used to cover for essential expenses. Guaranteed sources of income can include social security, pensions, or annuities. Making sure that you have sufficient income from these guaranteed sources can be a great way to minimize tapping into your discretionary sources i.e. your investment portfolios. You can even increase your guaranteed sources of income by delaying using them. For example, just by waiting 10 years on tapping into your social security benefits, you can double your monthly benefits paid out to you. Planning out your guaranteed sources of income and assuring they cover your essential expenses is an excellent plan to achieve a fruitful and relaxing retirement. For a retirement growth strategy, it's crucial to create and maintain a well-diversified portfolio. Diversification across sectors, asset class, regional, and market cap are key to mitigate risk and maximize growth potential in your portfolio. Adding dividend income to your strategy provides extra income that can be used to compensate your living or discretionary expenses without having to tap into your retirement investments. An example of a well-diversified portfolio that meets all the criteria mentioned above is shown here. The portfolio consists of several ETFs. First, we have SPHD, which is the Invesco S&P 500 High Dividend Low Volatility ETF. This consists of 40% of the portfolio with a monthly dividend payment and a yield of 4.64%. Next, we have VYM, the Vanguard High Dividend Yield ETF, consisting of 20% of the portfolio with a quarterly dividend payment and a yield of 3.05%. Next, we have LQD, which is the iShares iBox Investment Great Corporate Bond Fund. This consists of 10% of the portfolio and provides a monthly dividend payment 
and a yield of 3.56%. Next, we have SHY, which is the iShares Barclays 1-3 to three Year Treasury Bond Fund and consists of 10% of the portfolio while providing a monthly dividend payment and a yield of 2.23%. And finally, we have our growth branch, VIG. This is a growth ETF which also provides dividends and consists of 20% of the portfolio. VIG is the Vanguard Dividend Appreciation ETF and provides a quarterly dividend payment and a yield of 1.84%. The resulting dividend yield of this portfolio, assuming the weights for each ETF above, is 3.41%, with 60% of the portfolio providing monthly dividends and a growth ETF providing appreciation of assets over time. The growth appreciation yield could add an additional 3 to 6%. This portfolio can be used in any retirement account to help create passive dividend income streams for retirement. A simple diversified income plan for retirement is shown here. The plan consists of 1. An emergency fund, although it is recommended to have funds of at least 2 years of expenses covered. 2. Retirement income from guaranteed income sources such as Social Security, pensions, and annuities. 3. A retirement income for retirement investment portfolios such as 401ks, IRAs, and HSA which is a health savings account. And finally, a withdrawal plan which consists of withdrawing approximately 4% from your portfolios every year. The emergency fund should consist of two years worth of expenses. This could be cash or CDs. Emergency fund money should be used in case of stock market downturns or crashes to be drawn from while the markets recuperate. Liquidity is key for an emergency fund as fast access to the money may be required. Guaranteed income sources. As mentioned previously, Social Security benefits withdrawals should be delayed as much as possible to increase your monthly benefits. Waiting to 70 years old, your monthly benefits could double. Pensions can also be used as an income source to cover your immediate expenses. Annuities are usually in the form of life insurance with a premium. These can pay a fixed income every month and are also a great source for guaranteed income source. More information can be obtained by looking at different life insurance packages and options and will not be covered more in this video. Retirement Income Sources In addition to the guaranteed income sources, retirement accounts such as 401ks, IRAs, and other accounts can be used to withdraw income from during your retirement years. When planning for retirement, a pre-retirement phase and a retirement phase should be planned for, where income sources would be withdrawn from. First, we have the pre-retirement phase, which is before 59 years old. During this phase, withdrawing from one of the retirement accounts can help ease the transition into full retirement. Next, we have the retirement phase, which is after 59 years old. And this is where the other retirement accounts can be used. Keeping the withdrawal rate at 4% or below annually can help sustain your income for longevity. Planning a strategy across different types of retirement accounts should be used to maximize your returns. The retirement accounts which should be used include IRAs both traditional and Roth, 401ks, HSA accounts, and brokerage accounts. Investing in each of these accounts has its benefits. For example, investing in Roth IRAs as well as HSAs are tax-free when they are withdrawn from during retirement. When investing, these accounts should always be maxed out annually as they provide tax-free income during your retirement years. 401ks and traditional IRAs are taxed when withdrawn from, but 401ks have broader limitations and investing in them can provide greater growth opportunities for your portfolio. Having a withdrawal plan is crucial for retirement. One plan is to withdraw from taxable accounts first, followed by tax-deferred accounts and finally non-tax accounts, which are your Roth IRAs and HSA accounts. Another strategy is to withdraw from all your accounts simultaneously up to 4% yearly to minimize the yearly amount of taxable income as much as possible. Employing a diversified income strategy to your portfolios aimed for growth as well as dividends can be instituted for each of these retirement accounts to help supplement your income during your retirement years. By employing the strategies mentioned in this video, you can create low-risk diversified income generating portfolios for your retirement accounts that will appreciate over time and continue to pay income continuously through your retirement. Through careful planning and diligent investment of capital, as well as reinvestment of dividends, 
one can create dividend income streams that can provide substantial income, eventually covering everyday expenditures and beyond. By creating a well-thought-out withdrawal plan, as well as planning out your target yearly income goals during your retirement years, you can build a solid plan and be rest assured you will have sufficient income while retired. It's never too late to start building your retirement portfolios to generate passive income. The M1 Finance stock trading app provides a great vehicle which allows for commission-free buying and selling of stocks as well as investment opportunities for retirement accounts such as traditional IRAs and Roth IRAs, thus providing a great way to create and grow dividend income portfolios using the methods mentioned above. Thank you for watching this video. Be sure to check out the link in the description to download your simple retirement portfolio that will generate dividend income passively during your retirement. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more wealth creation strategy videos and smash that like button if you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you and have a great day.